Hey, maintaining your oral hygiene, it starts at a young age. And Growing Smiles Pediatric Dentistry is committed to your children's oral health. Their new location not only offers the latest services, but also has a fun and inviting atmosphere, perfect for your little ones. We spoke with Dr. Megan McCone to learn more. Take a look. Well, smiles are important, and having a healthy smile is very important, especially when it comes to your kids. And Growing Smiles Pediatric Dentistry offers that. Dr. Megan McCone is on us with us right now, and it looks like you're back in business. Welcome to the show, doctor. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, yeah, we um, got the go-ahead from the governor. Dental offices can open today, Friday, May 29th. Um, our office has chosen to reopen again on Monday. So, when it comes to pediatric dentistry, when should we start? I mean, uh, as young as one years old? Right. The American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry recommends children receive their first dental visit at age one or six months after their first tooth. Let's talk a little bit about preventive dental care. Many people may not consider that young of an age to start preventive dental care, but it really is important. It really is. So we start really early um, educating parents on the importance of oral health. And we know that preventative care is important for not only a healthy mouth, but also a healthy body. And we know that during this coronavirus closure, so many families missed mom and dad appointment, but also their kids appointment. And so as we gear up to get everybody rescheduled here um, and get back in, we recognize that some of that prevention has been lacking. And we know that parents have had so much on their plate. Um, so we don't want parents to feel bad. We're going to get them back in, get them back on schedule. You know, if things have progressed. We're going to get kids back into a healthy routine and get their mouths cleaned back up. When it comes to your actual office, I'm sure it's looking a bit different these days. Talk about your safety and how you're preparing to bring patients back in. Right. So you guys have probably all heard a lot about personal protective equipment or PPE and the shortage of PPE during this coronavirus pandemic. Um, so in the very early stages of this pandemic, we donated some of our PPE to local medical facilities that were still open and working. And so we've been working to resecure the protective equipment that we need. And we're happy to say we've gotten, you know, the N95 masks, we're extending our normal uh, infection control procedures that were already high standards now to include the N95 mask and face shields, gowns and hair coverings. Um, we also secured um, air purifiers for our office with HEPA filters that will help cycle the air to keep the air cleaner. Um, and we've done some new processes at the office for when people return to help keep everybody safe. When it comes to non-emergency dental care, and you're able to accept patients now that are not having a dental emergency, talk about what people should expect. So they can call to schedule an appointment. When they check in at the office, they'll be texting our phone number from their car. They'll wait in the car with a curbside check-in process. We have a COVID screening questionnaire that they will get texted to fill out and return back to us. Um, our team is actually taking that same questionnaire every day before work, so making sure that people are safe when they enter the building. Um, we're asking only one parent or guardian to come with the child, and that parent or guardian should be wearing a face covering um, before entering the facility. We've actually propped a lot of our inside doors open, so nobody has to touch any door handles coming in and out. A team member will meet you at the car, they'll open the main door for you, uh, and bring you on back for the appointment. At the very end of the process, um, we actually check out as well. So if parents do choose to stay in the office to check out, we have six foot social distancing measures in place, um, but they also have the opportunity to check out from the comfort of their car and the safety of their own space and do the virtual checkout that way as well. A lot of rules, a lot of precautions happening, but of course, bringing your child to the dentist, you got to make it fun. And you guys have kept that too. Yeah, so even before COVID, we really prided ourselves on being one of the most fun offices to bring your kids to in West Michigan. And so that's some, a sentiment that still is really important for us, for kids to have good and fun experiences at the dentist so that they grow up not being afraid to go. And so we recognize that when we return, kids are going to be seeing us with these full get-ups on. They can't see our faces anymore. We can't interact with them necessarily the same way that we did. So we got some photo ID badges for our team to wear so they can see the smile behind the mask. 
And then our team has always done really fun videos on our Facebook and Instagram page. So parents, if they would like, can go to our social media pages prior to their appointment, show the kids us having fun in the office so they can see, even though we have this whole suit on, it's not as scary as they might think. So you can just call up and make that appointment without having to get a referral from a, you know, the, the, the doctor or anyone else. What is the availability to new patients right now at Growing Smiles? Yeah, so we're working to get all of our existing patients rescheduled, but we still have availability for new patients to give us a call and get right in. Uh, we'll be happy to help them if they want to call. We have a great new patient coordinator who will reach out and personalize the experience for them when they call us. Well, if I want to see some of those videos or if I want to get more information, how about a website people can visit? Yeah, our website is growingsmilesgr.com, and we have a Facebook and Instagram page as well. Thank, Thank you so much for the time, doctor. We appreciate it. You too. Open today, Growing Smiles Pediatric Dentistry, located at 2643 East Beltline Avenue, Northeast in Grand Rapids. The phone number right there on your screen, 616-988-9485, or you can check them out online at growingsmilesgr.com.